Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to update your Windows 11 to version 25H2 because of this error code that is 0x8007371. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to go to Windows Update in Windows Settings and over here you can see Pause Update option. So click on Pause and once it is paused, now you can click on Resume Updates and then you can check still not working type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find windows update in the list scroll down here you can see windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok make a right click on windows update and then click on restart now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok and then make a right click and then click on restart. Now find app readiness in the list at the somewhere at the top you will see app readiness make a double click on app readiness set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted click on ok make a right click on app readiness and then click on restart. And now you can check if you see retry option over here you can hit retry and then you can check still not working the next step is to run these command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator only click on yes to allow now copy the first command paste it over here hit the enter key and once this is done uh, this process will take some time and once the scan is 100 percent complete copy the second command paste it on the same window hit the enter key and once the second scan is 100% complete over here then copy the third command paste it on the same window and once the third scan is 100% complete over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to use windows 11 installation assistant now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see windows 11 installation assistant click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow and if you see any kind of update over here install option or update option you can use windows 11 installation assistant to update it and then check still not working the next step is to open windows settings and then go to windows update and then go to advanced option over here scroll down click on recovery option here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now once the reinstall is complete restart your computer when you restart your computer uh, you will see repair version of version 24h2 and then you can try to update your windows 11 to version 25h2 and then check still not working use media creation tool now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then you can run this exe file click on it and then click on accept over here and then by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop click on save and let the download complete this process will take some time and once the download is complete click on finish and then let this close automatically it will take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute to close once closed now you can go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file make a double click on setup file run the setup file click on yes to allow click on next click on accept over here and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install and once done uh, restart your computer and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to update your windows 11 to version 25h2 so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel